Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Do Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's change workspace. Go to Window, Workspace, and let's use Character Rig. Okay, so right now let's open Duik Angela. I have already here, but you can go to Window, click here for Duik Angela. Okay, so let's zoom to here and select this hand layer, layer 1, 2 and 3. Let's go to Solo and press T, open opacity, change opacity like this. Okay, so go to Pen Tool and let's make one bone like this. One here and one here. And don't click Session Tool. Go to here, click this icon and go to Homonite, click Arm. Okay, nice. Okay, and right now let's change bone names. This one, this two and three. Okay, let's link. Select this layer one. Let's link to bone one. Select this layer 2, let's link to bone 2 and select this layer 3, let's link to bone 3 and select these 3 bones and go to auto rig, let's click here and click ignore ok, after rigging, let's select this controller let's see ok, and select these hand layers, change opacity to 100 and select these bones let's hide ok looks good so select this controller, go to FX control and open icon let's move to left like this back to timeline and let's unsolo all these layers Ok, and let's select this arm and let's delete it. Ok, so select these bones and let's hide layers. I will use only this controller. Ok, let's move to here. So let's make some techniques for right hand. Select these hand layers. Go to solo, press T, change opacity again and let's select pen tool make bone like this okay and again don't click station tool go to humanite let's use arm and select this layer 1 let's link to arm 1 and select the layer 2 link to forearm 2 and layer 3 let's link to hand select these bones and go to auto rig ok select controller let's see ok very nice so friends we have problem here and I want to show solution select these bone and go to pan behind icon and let's zoom to here select this anchor point let's move it down click session tool and unsolo all these layers select these hand layers change opacity 100 and let's select controller let's see okay very nice let's select these bones and hide all layers and let's enable left hand controller ok, very nice so again go to FX control open icon and move to right this controller ok, so back to character main and let's select this bone arm let's enable and link to body let's hide again select this body, press R Okay, nice. And select this bone one, let's enable. 
let's link to body a chain rotation body very good and height bones okay so let's enable these bones i want to change name select this bone let's change name one and this is layer what is layer one okay this layer one and this is bone one and this bone two and this bone three and this delete let's hide again enable only controllers okay so let's make some rig techniques for foot layers select these foots and let's go to solo press t change opacity okay go to pen tool let's make bone like this okay go to humanite let's use leg and select this let's change name one and these two and these three select this layer one let's link to bone one select layer two let's link to bone two and select layer three let's link to bone three okay select these three bones and go to auto rig okay let's see nice very good and let's select these foot layers change of pace 100 and on solo select this bone let's delay it and select this bone one let's link to by the foots and on solo these layers let's select this three two one and height select this foot icon let's see okay we're good so let's make someone for right foot select this foot layers go to solo and let's press t change opacity go to again pen tool make bone line like this okay go to humanite let's use ledge and change bone names one two and three and let's delete this bone and select this layer one again link to bone one select this layer two link to bone two select layer three link to bone three and change opacity 100 okay select these bone layers and go to auto rig okay let's see nice very fast and easy so let's unsolo and unsolo these foot layers let's select this and hide okay very good so let's select this control and go to fx control open icon and move to right and select this controller open icon and move to left select this body down let's see okay back to character and select this bone one and link to body foot select body also link to body foot let's see okay let's link to like this nice very good so select this nose eyeball and eye white eyebrow modes and a right a left hit with right mouse and pre compass add name hit click ok and select this hit let's link to body select body foot okay we're good so right now we can make animation let's go to window go to workspace and change workspace to default okay and let's select these controllers 
and select this body foot let's go to two second let's press p make new passing keyframe and go to first second let's move it up okay let's see so let's select these bone layers and click toggle switch mode click this icon select these bones click this icon and these bones click this icon also these bones click this icon and all foot and hand layers click this icon then go to here and click hide all layers okay so select these three frames let's make easy go to graph editor and select this graph let's move right okay go to here change quality quarter back to chip frames select these all chip frames let's move to left let's move to left a little bit okay so go to first second and let's select these controllers let's move to right and this move to here and this controller and this okay select these last body keyframes go to here and let's move to down go to three keyframe one two three move to up Again, go to 3G frame, 1 to 3, move to down. And again, go to 3G frame, 1 to 3, move to up. Let's see. Okay, select these G frames, hold Alt, move to right. Nice. And right now, let's go to here. Select this foot layer. Let's move like this. And go to here. Let's move right. Okay, let's move like this. And select G frames. Let's right mouse go to G frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. nice and select these hand controllers let's go to 6 j frame click here write plus 6 click ok and move to left go to 6 j frame again for shortcut you can use page down and let's move to right move to down again go to 6 j frame move to left up and this is random chain frames and you can make your chain frames sort of like you okay not bad and select this controller let's go to here and go to some chain frames move to left and here move to right and let's select these chain frames right mouse chain frame interpolation change linear click ok and select these hand shape frames hold alt move right nice and select this body go to here press r chain rotation minus eight make new shape frame and go to here change four and let's save point behind move tanker point down okay and let's say keyframes, frames move right got some keyframes, frames change minus two okay that's good And select this here. Let's go to solo. Slip one behind. Move the anchor point here. Click session tool and unsolo. 
press air chain rotation like this and make rotation keyframe go to here the chain rotation 5 and go to some keyframes change minus 2 and go to here change 0 select keyframes make easy let's move to right hit keyframes okay not bad so friends thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck